I've pretty much got two reactions to the sales figures. First, surprise. Second, disappointment. I understand. Uh, there's often a mismatch between forecasts and actual results. That may be. But if there's a difference in figures, it should be with higher sales, not lower. We can't go on like this. I'm afraid you're not seeing the big picture here, Claudio. The market has been slow to respond to new environmental initiatives by the government. We thought more people would be buying our product by now. And we're only hearing about this now? You told me that Katie had this under control, that she made realistic estimates. Yes, she does, I assure you. Sanji, if this is under control, I'd hate to see what out of control looks like. Well, you have to remember that we predicted this might happen. This should not come as a surprise. We expected lower figures this quarter and warned you about them. Katie is very good at what she does, and she is very close to the market in Bangladesh. She's very confident that Bangladesh will be a huge success. We just need to give it a little more time to pick up. Really? Come on, Claudio, we've talked about this before. We just need a little patience. And maybe a little more respect, too. Excuse me? Respect? We're all professionals here. We all care about the quality of our work. We're very passionate about it. Sometimes it even causes arguments. You know, Claire confronted Katie earlier today and suggested that her marketing campaigns are to blame for the poor sales. Claire may have a point, if you ask me. Well, I'm not sure what you're saying is necessarily accurate. You know, we implemented your expert, Gary's new ideas on those campaigns. That still didn't help. Nothing changes the fact that Bangladesh takes a little more time to react to marketing. We shouldn't change the campaign now. So you're telling me that sales will increase just very slowly? That's right. Everything will be okay. If you say so. We'll hold off on any changes to the campaign, for now.